Bithilasana or cow pose. This is one of the basic asanas. It is very simple, easy, but yet it will provide a lot of benefits. Some, some people think that, you know, simple asanas, basic asanas. Some people are not interested in doing it. They want to do only advanced asanas. Yoga is not like that. All asanas are equally important, okay? I am just saying it is simple asana, basic asana, easy asana. Because we will not use a lot of energy, effort in it. That looks simple, you know, moderate energy is sufficient. That does, doesn't mean that that doesn't have benefits. And give a lot of benefits equal to the advanced asana too. But it is easier. We don't put in a lot of effort or energy into it also. But this will you know, give benefits to entire you know body, starting from palms, wrists, all the joints, till shoulders, neck, spine, especially spine, abdomen, lungs, chest, you know, all the organs, digestive related organs. But mainly it is beneficial for the spine and also all other organs as I mentioned. So I will show you how to do it, then I can explain a little bit more. You have to be on the knees and then palms. There should be gap in between the legs and hands. You need to use energy in the spine like this, you know, to bend it and try to look up. You should constantly push your spine, you know, towards the mat like this. Especially lower spine and try to look up. And you should not control the breath. Let the body breathe and then relax. Hold it for minimum 10 seconds. If you are a beginner, start with 10 seconds. You can go up to 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Again, exit and try to look up and let the body breathe. Again, relax. Likewise, you can do 3 to 5 rounds. To get benefits, more benefits out of this, you can also add one more asana along with it. That is cat pose, marjal asana. See, this is marjalas. Hold it for 10 to 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Let the body breathe. Again, you can do like this. Vithirasana. And then exhale again. Cat pose. Do it like this, 3 to 5 rounds. Based on the requirement, based on your body flexibility, Based on the disease, you have to change the duration and you know intensity. It's not the same for everybody. For beginners, it is different. For those who are in advanced level, it is different. Based on your problem, you will have to change the duration and you know, as I said, the intensity it as well. So, see, better thing is prevention, isn't it? Prevention is easier than cure. Prevention is better than cure. Once you get this, it is very difficult to cure it. It takes a lot of time, energy, money and everything. No? It needs more. So why to wait till you get disease? Start doing yoga every day. Stay away from this disease.